Hello, Scott Player fans. And now, for this last Halloween horror season, we will be reviewing one more Scream for this day. So, as you all know, the Scott Player did his review of the first Scream about a year ago. So now he's going to do one more fall of you. So, who was under this mask? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yes, so <laughs> for, this is my Halloween costume, as you guys can see. Um, for this, yeah, I'm going to review Scream 2, uh, for this review. So, um, I think, uh, out of all the sequels, you know, I think the first sequel that they made, Scream 2, uh, directed by Wes Craven, when, when that came out, <laughs> back in 1997, literally one year after, um, the first film, I, you know, I think, um, it was a pretty decent sequel, uh, and, you know, um, I think in regards to like the meta commentary, um, talking about like um, how sequels can sometimes tr try to one up the original, or in, in some cases like have a higher body count for a slasher, you know that that does happen with sequels uh, in in the slasher genre, and also you get you you get Sydney and her friends uh they're all in college and um they're you know they're they're living their lives you know they're talking about uh, there there's like the this one scene in the film where they're talking about the top where they're talking about sequels and how um movies like Terminator uh to like Terminator 2 Empire Strikes Back you know they they mention those kinds of movies and um, it's really interesting, like, he, um, and kind of funny hearing about that kind of stuff, um, uh, and they do a pretty decent job, like, um, having suspects of who the copycat killer is, and I think by the end of it, you, you don't expect it, uh, and also... Uh, another thing that's worth praising about this first Scream sequel, Scream 2, is, once again, the music. You know, the, the music is really good. Uh, and, you know, once again, Neve Campbell uh, really holds her own as uh, as the heroine of this franchise, basically. And sh she's quite the badass, especially in that third act. And I'm not going to talk about, like, the the big reveal of who the killer is because you know even though this is a movie that came out like back in 97 uh i don't want to spoil that in case there those of you who are watching this have not seen the movie so yeah and i think out of all the sequels i uh, in this franchise i think this movie has probably one of the more focused stories that doesn't stray too far and doesn't do anything too strange because I feel like Scream 6 the newest film um start uh kind of did a few uh things in the third act of that film where it just felt kind of strange and uh I just think and also yeah so Scream 2 um it's a movie that will definitely uh hold its own uh, compared to some of the other sequels, because I, like I've mentioned before, uh, I don't, probably my least favorite film in this series is Scream 3, which, I mean, it's still decent, like, none of these movies are bad, as I mentioned before, and I also think that it was really nice having Cotton Weary in a bigger role in this film, although there were times where, uh, uh Cotton Weary uh, sort of uh, acted strangely and suspiciously, and which made me, th which you know, uh, everybody's a suspect, <laughs> and 
yeah, there are moments like that with his character, but it was nice having him in, uh, in a bigger role in this movie. Uh, and then at the beginning of the third film, uh, he gets cut short, basically. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, Scream 2 also has, I believe, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Uh, she's in this movie. Uh, and that's a fun uh, cameo, as well as Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, uh, in the beginning of the movie, you know, in that theater. Uh, it was cool uh, having that cameo at the very beginning of the film. And it was just really uh, interesting and very satisfying. There's one kill in this movie with a cop that I thought was really gruesome. And probably one of the more creative kills in this franchise. Because most other killings in this franchise just include the, the normal knife that uh, Ghostface always uses. But... There is one kill with a cop in this movie that is definitely gruesome and one of the more creative kills in this franchise. And yeah, overall, this is a very decent film. One of my favorites in the franchise. And if I had to give this a grade, I'd probably give it, I'd say, I'd say like an A minus. I think that'd be my grade for Scream 2. Uh, and that's my review. Happy Halloween, everyone. And I'll, I will definitely start doing um, videos about um, maybe Thanksgiving, you know, Thanksgiving-themed uh, videos, uh, maybe. Because uh, I know there's like a... I know that there's a new slasher movie that just came out recently uh, in theaters called Thanksgiving. Uh, and... I guess they called it Thanksgiving because there's already a, a a really bad turkey movie called Things Killing, so they can't use that title. Uh, so who knows? Maybe we'll see that and do a review for that uh, at some point soon. So yeah, that should do it for this video. Happy Halloween! And after this, I'm going to enjoy some Reese's. All right, guys, take care and peace.